Open the Hyper-V Manager and right-click on the virtual machine then navigate to new and hard disk. In this setup I am choosing VHDX. Next choose the disk type. We shall be creating another virtual hard disk with a fixed size because this comes with better performance and high levels of disk activity. Specify the name of the virtual hard disk and also the location of the disk file will be saved. The next step is to configure the disk and you can decide to create a blank virtual hard disk or copy from another physical disk or virtual hard disk. We will select the new blank virtual hard disk option and set the hard disk size. The process of creating the new virtual hard disk will begin and you will see the progress. After the virtual hard disk is created successfully, open the settings of your virtual machine. Click on SCSI controller on the left pane. On the right pane, select hard drive and click add. Navigate to where you specify as the location of the virtual hard disk earlier. After that, start your virtual machine. When you check devices in drive section you will not find the virtual hard disk added. You will need to configure the unallocated disk first from the disk management. You will see the disk tagged as unknown and unallocated disk. Right click on it and select online and initialize disk. Select GPT or GWT partition table then click OK to initialize the disk. The next step is to right-click on the disk and select New Simple Volume. Specify the volume size that your physical server can accommodate and click Next. The next step is to assign a drive letter. The letter is automatically displayed based on the letters used for the current drive. The next step is to select the file system and label the volume and you can decide to format the volume. When you check the virtual disk from the disk management again, it will no longer show as unallocated and can now be accessible. When you check the devices and drive section you will find the virtual hard disk created with the name Computer Everywhere Disk.